we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome to the fifth episode of the Money and Biz Readings. All right, thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time to actually listen to these readings. I hope that they're blessing each and every person who actually takes time to listen, right? But uh, Spirit wants you to keep your head to the sky. Okay, yeah, I know y'all want me to stop. Anyhow, Spirit wants you to know that you are stronger than you know. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every person who shows up at this Money and Biz career reading. Uh, money and, and financial reading uh, and career, okay. Uh, money, Biz career reading with uh, clarity, truth and clarity from you. All right, so Spirit wants you to know you're stronger than you know. Stronger than you're giving yourself credit for. You can give yourself, you don't give yourself credit for waking up every day, going to the job, driving there, staying there eight to 10 hours a day, coming back home, doing the same thing over and over again. Why can't you do that for yourself? Why, why can't you do that for yourself? Why can't you work that hard for you and championing, championing, champion your own cause? Maybe even find out what your divine life purpose is because that's what this card is about knowing that you're stronger than you're better than what you where you are right now because you're feeling a level of discontent boredom maybe just knowing that there's so much more for you or you could be doing so much more or you have so much to offer just not knowing how to get it all together streamline it and then push it out to the world but this card says you're stronger than you know it says it's encouraging you to keep going and call upon the deep well of strength that God has blessed you with. All right. It talks about you need to assert yourself. Just, you know, just be firm in whatever you're doing. Stop be, being moved so easily. You know, just kind of like the waves that crash in the sea. Just you just just being moved to and fro. There's no stability with you. You start your own thing. You do it for a week. You weren't a millionaire by the end of the week and you're done. You're going back to. This is about asserting yourself, not backing down, being up for the challenge. You are stronger than you know. While you are, are stronger than you know, you also need to seek guidance, clarity, get some knowledge about what you're doing. Get under some mentorship because you have at the bottom of the deck uh, seeking and finding. Okay seeking and finding so yeah you need to seek and find some clarity this talks about um again back to life purpose it talks about uh maybe even reunion with re reunion with something that was from the past it talks about excitement of the process understanding that maybe starting your own thing um saving money getting to financial security 
is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. So um, being comfortable with and uh, having excitement for the process, knowing that success is on the other side. Hold your vision. Back to what I just talked about. You just being tossed to and fro. Um, you hear of one pyramid scheme, of one get rich uh, opportunity, and you're right on it, and it doesn't happen for you, and then you're you're back feeling left out, discontent, bored, or you get fired up about starting your own thing, and then you get and then you get stuck, and then you don't move, and then you just don't do, you just, and then you get bogged down by work, and then you get bogged down by the kids, and then you get bogged down by the man or the woman, and then the family. It's just like you are so movable. You know, you, you got to be like um, a rock here. That's the only way you're going to accomplish or have accomplishment. Right now, you need to rely upon yourself with the, the um, you're stronger than you know. You're trying to tell everybody else your plans as if they want to be a part of it, as if they want to see you succeed. No, rely upon yourself. Keep your shit to you until you actually bring it into fruition until you can actually tell them well go to the website and buy or go to the website and book or i'll be at this convention on this saturday you can come out and support me but don't tell them a minute before you actually got some shit done okay because some of you you telling people your business and they just casting it down as soon as you tell them that it's why you talking to them they in their mind like i hope it don't work oh it don't work oh it don't work. while you're talking to them and telling them you know so you gotta understand who you're talking to who you keep in company with and if they mean you well um it's not that they hate you or anything like that it's maybe they don't want to see you above them you know uh, everybody's dealing with something different okay gracefully aging came out here sideways it's like some of you aren't learning from past experience maybe in money and business what not to do what to do with your money how to save how to reinvest how how do you save what are you saving for do you have a goal have you written goals do you have hard and fast deadlines in regards to how to get stuff accomplished or get things done who is holding you accountable or are you under any mentorship leadership are you so this is um a very good reading it's almost like motivating you it's pushing you it's also telling you hey this is the time for practicality this is not a time for spirituality be practical in your approach and spirit will meet you where you are being practical is learning picking up a book finding out how you can save what you can do how you can fund your business um being practical is not telling your business or your ideas to people who don't want to see you doing good or better than them or they don't want to see you uplift yourself being practical is learning from those money troubles of the past when you would just say fuck it balls to the wall i'm gonna just you know go buy everything i want and uh, the bills will get paid somehow no be practical in your approach so it's about learning from the past instituting something new because you got new exercise programs so you need to exercise something new in your life okay you do have support of the heavens you have support uh, of supportive people like-minded individuals that want to be something that want to do something that want to grow something ktmg keep the momentum going monthly conference call and get around like-minded individuals come out of old spaces where you cannot create where you cannot manifest where nothing really happens. You also have to be up for the challenge. What are you willing to sacrifice to have what it is you say you really want? You wanna be a business owner. You wanna be this, you wanna do that. But you only got two hours a week to give to your goals. And that's only two hours because I gotta get my eight hours of sleep and then I'll be doing my hair and then I'll be going to get my hair done and then I gotta go get my nails done and then I gotta hang out with my friends and then I gotta go see my mama and my grandma and then I'm gonna go out to brunch and then I'm gonna go turn up okay it looks like your life is full and that's great and the beauty of this conversation is you get to determine what you want to do but spirit is asking you what will you sacrifice that means let go of so that you can get to where you want to be that's the question you have to answer. I don't have the answer for you. Um, I hope that you took something from this money and biz reading. It was more like a motivational speech to push you, propel you forward. Get around like-minded individuals like yourself. Uh, KTMG, keep the momentum going. Uh, 
conference call, monthly conference call, where you get spiritual and practical advice of how to start, maintain, and grow your business. And you're around other people who can hold you accountable. You're around a coach that can hold you accountable. You're around people who want the same thing. They're not shooting you down because you know, they got too much on their plate to shoot themselves up. So let's do it. It's the time. It's the age of Aquarius, the age of awakening. Aquarius rules technology and large groups of people wish fulfillment, big wishes. So it's, it's the time where a lot of people are making a lot of money using technology, internet, with large groups of people. It's a time for you to unleash, unlock, awaken to your divine purpose. Once you find purpose, everything is accounted to you. You're not chasing after love. You're not chasing after money. You're not chasing after because you're in your purpose. So now spirit can use you and where you need to, you know, um, ha make amends or, or fix spirit can speak to you now because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. So I always tell you, get in your purpose. Everything will be accounted to you. That man or that woman that you want or that house or that car. And then all of these fringe benefits, all these additions to that is not the end result. The end result is for God's spirit, higher power to get glory out of your life existence. Is he getting glory out of you being a receptionist at a desk that you hate? You hate it. You don't like it. You really don't. You know you you are meant for so much more. Is he getting glory out of what you're doing? If he is, and the answer is yes, then it is yes. If it's no, it's no. Are you getting any type of satisfaction out of it? It's time. The time is now. All links below. All links are below. If you want to contact me, if you want to connect with me, if you want to get on a one-on-one -on -one discovery call to see if I can help you get to your goals, let's do it. And if um, you want to get around like-minded individuals, go ahead and sign up for the KTMG monthly conference call. All right. Many blessings to you. Take care.